Hey everybody, GeoArm Security here, and today I'm going to show you how to program a 5816 wireless window or door contact into the Honeywell Lynx Touch L5210 Home and Business Security System. The first thing that we're going to do is we need to remove the contact from its package. So we're going to remove the magnet, the mounting screws, and the spacer. Place those to the side. Keep our magnet out. Then we're going to go ahead and remove the battery and the actual contact here. Make sure to keep your manufacturer box in resellable condition in case you need to return it for any reason. Place it to the side. Now we're going to go ahead and open the contact up and insert the battery so we can begin programming it. The battery it uses is a CR123A 3 volt ion lithium battery. You want to locate the positive end and the negative end. Do the same for the contact. Locate the positive and the negative and go ahead and insert accordingly like so. You can then take the cover and put that back on and now you want to make sure you see the arrow pointing down and locate the two little notches here which is where the reed switch is located on this contact and you want to make sure the magnet always stays about a half inch apart or about a pencil length in between. That's where the reed switch will be able to acknowledge the magnet. Now for programming we're going to go ahead and select security, more, tools, default installer code is 4112. Now we're going to go ahead and select program, zones, and we're going to select the first available zone. You can use you know, whichever the first available is. There's plenty. Uh, for now, we'll just go ahead and use zone two. Select edit. Now you're gonna see serial number. So you're gonna select serial number and you're going to separate the magnet from the contact three times in three intervals. So go ahead and once, twice, That'll learn the serial number and the, new, the loop in there. Go ahead and verify those. Go ahead and do it one more time. All right, now the serial number and contact have been uh, acknowledged by the system. We want to verify that it's loop two for the 5816 because we're using the wireless read switch. Next, you're going to want to make sure it's selected on door. So just to make sure you click in there, there's different options. We'll have videos for each and every one of these. Go ahead and select door. Go to zone description. We'll change it to side, so back it out. And enter side. Safe side, side. Once it enunciates side, go ahead and select done. So this is the side door, and we're going to be programming this with a little bit of a longer delay, so we want to select response type. We do have a video on entry exit one. But right now we're going to do it on entry exit 2, which by default is 60 seconds as opposed to 30 seconds, uh, which is basically the time that you have once entering through this door to disarm the system before it goes into an actual alarm. So go ahead and select entry exit 2. Verify that the alarm report is reporting back to us, so you want it as yes. The chime, you can select through various different chimes. There are additional ones. We'll leave it as alert one just for now. Make sure the supervision is supervised. Go ahead and select save. And then you can go back. And just to verify that the delay time is longer than 30 or you know, at least 60, go ahead and click down arrow. Hit system settings. And then you can see entry delay 2, which it is on 60 seconds. You can scroll through it. It does go up to you know, various times, 4 minutes none, 15, 30, 45, 60. We'll keep it at 60, so go ahead and save that. And now you can back out of programming. Allow the installer to re-enter programming, select yes. Now you can back out. I'm gonna go ahead and arm the system up to show you that, you're gonna, uh, that this has acknowledged and it has been learned into the panel by hitting arm stay. Enter the master code. Now allow the panel to go through its arming process.
Armed stay. Now that the panel's uh, activated, I'm going to go ahead and pull the magnet from the contact, and you should see it, it gives it a delay. I'm not going to let it go through the whole 60 seconds, but uh, it will be 60 seconds, so I'm going to go ahead and do that for you now. Disarm system now. So this would go on for 60 seconds before the alarm goes into an alarm. I'll go ahead and disarm now. Disarmed. Ready to arm. Chime. And and that's how you program a 5816 wireless window or door contact using an entry exit 2 delay on the Lynx Touch L5210 wireless security system. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and view our blog at diysecurityblog.com. If you need to reach us re uh, by phone, reach us at 1877 443 6276.